Welcome to the second part of my E4 1.36 Georgia run. If you have not seen how we got to this point in 1470, I advise you watch the first video, I will leave the link in the description. And now let's continue. So at this point I have no alliances and Ottomans are a threat towards us. So one of you guys commented on the last video that I should look into an alliance with Poland, but as you can see, Poland is not having a very good time. Hungary for some reason decided to completely isolate Tarnov. Moldavia it seems won a jackpot because they have not only Wallachian provinces but also some Polish provinces. They're independent and allied with Muscovy. And Poland, man, man, they're super weak level 4 military. Lithuania has 100% liberty desire. So instead I found another good option and it's Hungary. So I'm gonna send them an alliance offer. Let's go. Now let's get our units back over here. I was planning to declare on a Great Horde, but I changed my mind. I will declare on a Karaka Yunlu first. I no longer have a truce, they have no alliances, just guaranteed by a jam. So it's free real estate and Muscovy is still dealing with a Great Horde. Now next what we can do is change up some privileges. Let's remove nobility officer rights. And instead of that, I will take right for diet call. Now let's go over to decisions, call diet. And we auto complete our agenda, get 50 admin for free. And we can use it to core some provinces. We still have some cores left to do. Corruption is growing, so let's root this out. Missionary is not doing work. What is happening in this province, man? Right, it's minus 2% because of non accepted culture. So let's go over 20%, accept Azerbaijani. Now he can continue converting. I kinda wanna replace this guy. It would be awesome to have inflation reduction one. You possibly get the radical reforms. Okay, it's time to declare. Let's go. First of all, I wanna take out a jam, most definitely. Oh, nice siege ability. Let's go. And now we can take level 6 military. Great. Actually, I only have one horse, so I'll change it right now. Oh no, the Mamluks declared on Karakayunlu. Okay, I have to be fast. Move, 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 guys. We can't lose these promises to them. Okay, we actually made it on time. We made it. That's awesome. And also a jam is done. So give me your cash, boy. Also got 50 mil from an event, so that's amazing. Look at this. Uzbek is no longer protecting a great horde. Yes, it's time for us to strike. Everything's falling in very nicely. Thank you so much for the provinces, Karakayunov. And now what I'm gonna do, these are two cores of Iraq, of course I cannot release Iraq because this is Kurdish culture and Iraq can only be released from Mashriki. So what I need to do if I wanna release Iraq is declare on Mushashi. I don't have claims but I, what I can do is declare on Bitlis directly co-belligerent Mushasha, even Mazanjuran and fight a jam once again and perhaps even take their money once again. So I'm gonna build a few more units up to my force limit and hopefully we can do exactly that at the same time while fighting Great Horde. Or, I mean, I don't really have to fight Great Horde right now, they're still at war with Muscovy. So let me actually start this up right now, let's go, declare this war. First let's try and remove a Mazandaran. Stick to me boy please, you can core these two provinces. Come here boy, don't run, don't run. That's right. Oh come on bro, the rebels spawn on top of me and a jam is actually coming here. I cannot stay on the fort. Mamluks is now fighting the Ottomans. Oh god, the Ottomans will destroy them. Okay, we got this fort which is awesome. Second age ability, let's go for war taxes. And while this guy is sieging, we can try and fight some of these guys. Let's also get level 5 Diplo. The leader died, god damn. And this one sucks. No, that, that's much better. That's much better. Come here, guys. So don't you run. I'll take good care of y'all. Oh, they just walked into me. That's nice. A jam is once again out and given me a donation of 390 ducats. Thank you. I can repay my one loan that I had. Now time to focus Mushasha. Oh, wow. That's a ton of rebels. Get these forts, man. It's taking forever. Okay, nice, plus one stability, and we're at max. This fort is down, you guys can go take care of the rebel. Mazandran can be full annexed. So let's core this up. Oh, prospering times, let's go. In this province, okay. 
I'll go for the Diplo and Trade Power. Yeah, Great Horde is no longer at war with Muscovy. And Muscovy took all these provinces, holy. So Great Horde is a one province miner. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's the only province I really need from them. As it has 10 plus local trade power. So from Mushesha, I want to take all the Iraqi provinces. And it will be these provinces. A little bit of cash and we could end this war, but I will go a bit further and get even more cash. Yeah, now we're talking. Good. I have managed to defeat all of the rebels. Now what's left is to take this province from Great Horde. Bitlis can be full annexed. Let's go. And this one province is also a core of Iraq, so I'm not coring it. Let's core this one. 92% overextension at this point. Cool. It looks like Grey Horde is uh, done. Let's full annex these boys. Core this up. And we're at 99.2% overextension. But what are we gonna do is go to Diplomacy. Create a subject. And let's release Iraq. We have not cored any of these provinces. And it's up to them now. We don't have to deal with this at all. And now we have a new super strong vassal. So what's next? What's next is I'm gonna remove these rebels, seize the lands, do a little bit of trade stuff, and then start a new war. Okay, cool. We can go ahead and seize lands. And actually, I'm gonna sell titles and seize lands. And that is because we have the mission Seize Crimea. Start construction of 5 barks for 0% of the cost, 10% of the time. For 10 years, 20% reduction of center of trade upgrades. And while this modifier is active, upgrading centers will get one bonus local development for us. So now since we have completed this, let's go to the trade view. First I want to upgrade this Kafa one. So let's get a development edict. Dev this twice. Now we can upgrade the center. Next we can upgrade the center over here. We will also need to develop this twice. There we go. The one in Yerevan, in Tabriz, and even our new province Sari. We basically spent 900 decades on this. But it's definitely worth it because we got 5 or 6 additional development. And now we are very close to completing this mission. Now we will need to build just a couple more units. And check this out man. Units built and we unlocked a new mission and that is because we have a army greater than Muscovy. We are rivaling them and now we have this Casus Belli restoration of Union for 25 years. Their only ally is Teutonic Order and if we declare Teutonic Order is not even joining so no one cares about them. Of course they are Orthodox. In this area there's basically no more Orthodox nations so the aggressive expansion will be pointless basically and we can go ahead and get this union. And yeah before that I will also grab an alliance with Austria that sounds good. Let's complete the mission and let's go restoration of the union. Go boys siege everything. New government reform since we have so many vassals and we will also get this personal union. Let's go with plus one diplo relation and of course more vassal stuff. Let's go. Oh Muscovy you going crazy buddy. That's what you get. Oh come on bro. Leave me alone dog. You have no chance bro. But he's hurting my manpower quite a lot. Could I get some manpower from Hungary? Yeah they're willing to give me like around 2k that's nice. And I can slacking a little bit at this point give me a new general oh man he's not good i like it with the generals considering i have 86 army tradition actually this is perfect timing my ruler just died and now since we have this young new ruler there's basically no risk of us losing the personal union after we take it i kind of want to avoid fighting him as much as possible because i would still like him to be strong after this war so maybe we can go straight for moscow and oh god, this this guy has no units. Actually, both of these mercs are quite useless now. Kind of want to get rid of them. Guess they can stay for the war. Nobles demand old rights. Sure, have this government reform progress. I barely have any. This guy is actually being super annoying. I have to kill him, unfortunately. It sucks so well. Here's level 5 admin. And for the first idea group, let's actually go with influence ideas. Since I'm ruling so many vessels, I'll definitely need it. Nice air. Truly nice air. Yeah. Nice. We got Moscow. Now we can stop this dude. He's very annoying. Very annoying. As much as I would like to, it's not really possible to avoid these battles with him. 
Now this guy can go. Expensive edicts, yes, amazing reminder. You get this bandit as well. At this point, I want to prioritize reducing my inflation, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. Or actually, what I can do is start my golden era right now, and this will make the inflation cost 10% cheaper. So now we can reduce it for 47 admin. So let's click this a few times. There we go, that's nice, good balance. Nice, we can get this union. Let's go. Finally, this war is finished, man. Let's get it. Of course, now the task will be to make them loyal. Yeah, sure, we can get the first influence idea. 25% additional income. Let's upgrade this center of trade, why not? So much base tax for 80 ducats. Definitely taking this. The rebels spawned in Ganja. Speaking of rebels, it's time to reduce more autonomy, that's for sure. And governing capacity is not looking good, so it's also time to get one of these privileges. Plus 100 governing capacity for 5 crownlands. Fair deal, fair deal. Another age ability. So let's take combat bonus this time. Damn, these rebels are annoying. I'm gonna take like a year or maybe a little bit more to restore my nation. Level 7 military technology. And I've spotted a very nice thing. If I would declare on Ajam, which I no longer have a truce with, Aka Yunlu is joining. And Aka Yunlu is allied with the Ottomans. So what I could do is break their alliance. And next war, full annex them. They also have a truce with the Mamluks for 5 years. So that also helps to avoid them getting annexed. I wanted to spend a year regaining my manpower and such. But man, I can't miss this opportunity. So I'm gonna take a few provinces from Ajam at the same time. And let's declare yo. Ottomans entered into the coalition. Okay, okay, that's fine, guys. You can enter this coalition, I don't mind it. Wait a second. There's one province, Syria, with no alliances. And it would be accepting our offer. Um, let's better start improving relations with this guy. Here we go. Yes, I like that Austria is getting so strong with 47,000 units. That's amazing news for us. Actually, let's get this improved relations guy now. Because everyone says entering the coalition, even Kazan entered. So I need to improve as quick as possible and get him out. Even with good alliances, there is a risk because there's Mamluks, Ottomans, Kazan and more nations in this coalition actually. It's a bit problematic at this point. Nice, Aka Yunlu is done. Break alliance please. And that's it, I don't need anything else from them. Now I can't really see Hormuz and I can't walk there, so that's a bit annoying, but if I could get my relations up with Fars, I could probably get these maps. Got some money going on, so we can start getting some buildings, like these marketplaces. And some churches, sure. Oh my god, each time I look into Poland, it looks worse and worse. What is going on with our provinces, man? Why is Hungary doing this? It's so cursed. And Moldovia no longer exists, so I guess they lost the jackpot. Oh, Syria is willing to share the maps of Arabia. So now we can see all of these provinces. Got additional 5 Patriarch Authority. And now I can select a new icon because I lost the previous one. So at this point, I kind of want to have the 5% discipline and manpower recovery speed as I might need to fight Ottomans soon. Okay, so I got a Jams capital and I'm not gonna continue this war. First of all, I planned to separate peace Hormuz, but at this point I have a lot of rebel problems, no manpower, and I don't really even need any provinces for my mission tree so let me take this one trade center and all the money that i can take and i'm actually pretty happy with this awesome let's concentrate and let's score it i'm gonna instantly remove this fort this drylands it's quite useless and we have a fort next to it emirates enter the collision oh god come on some nations actually should have left the collision by now because we have over 50 relations, like with Odoyev. Okay, we need a marketplace over here, that's fine. Can we build something else? Oh god, I need level 6 admin. 0.80 ducats from this one workshop. Yes, please. Oh, come on, man. Minus almost 200 ducats. Are you serious, bro? What are these events? Yeah, this is good news. Minus 15% liberty, desire and subjects. Now we have 56 with Muscovy. And for a while we can enable support loyalists and they will be helping us out. Time to seize the lands. Yeah, that's a very good agenda. I will need to build this workshop anyways. Let's ask burgers for contribution. Minus 7.5% construction cost. And let's start building these new workshops. Seize lands. 
Yeah, we still haven't used Heirs of Seleux and these all subjugation castles bellies. But I mean, we have very high aggressive expansion here in Persia right now. So subjugating someone a big would be pretty bad for us. For example, there's no chance I could subjugate a jam because I have almost minus 200 aggressive expansion impact so integrating them would be just impossible i could perhaps do it with fars but i also want to wait a bit on that oh come on even mushasha entered the collision i thought we were friends dude let me get this cheaper advisor trade efficiency one i still need this yearly inflation reduction one dude just doesn't show up hallelujah he's arrived let's go now just need to wait for the radical reforms work your magic guys Truce with Akayunlu is almost over. That's it. I'm declaring. Sandar and Nogai are joining, but this means we will get them out of the coalition. That's actually very good. So let's go. Oh my god, no actual way. It just took a couple of months to get the radical reforms. Oh my god, this is absolutely amazing. So let's fire these guys. 200 of each points for free. And now we can get them back. Yeah, I'll need a little bit more cash. Actually, let's take one loan right now. And let's get this guy, man. And now I can get minus 25% Diplo annexation cost. So after this war, I will start annexing Trebizond and Gazimuk. Oh, that's so awesome, man. These guys are being sieged by the Timurids. Timurid reconquest of Thun. Yeah, they're fighting a jam and they're allied. Okay, okay, it makes sense. So I guess in this case, I can just focus Nogai and Sandar. Awesome, Nogai is done. And we have Tsandar out as well. At this point I have built a few cannons as well. So this will help me siege in the future. And I can afford a few more buildings. Oh yes, get this church. Everything in Tbilisi is amazing and brings crazy profit. So now I just wonder when the Timurids are gonna finish the war because they occupied this one province and I need it man. I need it bro. It's Iraq core. Super important. Oh, would you look at that? Our heir is about to die. I'm definitely not gonna try and save him. Please do. Nice. He's not that much better, to be honest. Oh man. Screw it. No, you have to be kidding me with his heirs. Okay, since these rebels are here, it's actually good news. Perhaps they can unseize the Timurids province. Let's wait and see. No, please, Belozero, no. Oh my god, I had them all to sleep, but it's a vassal of my personal union and he's doing crazy stuff. Oh, come on, bruh. Please stick to me right now. Oh no. No, you guys suck, man. So it looks like Timurids will never finish this war. I guess I might start just another one at the same time. Let's take level 7 admin and level 8 military at this point as well. And for the second idea group, I will be going for the quality ideas. I'll unlock the first one. 10% infantry combat ability is very strong. Looks like I no longer need to pay Muscovy. Oh, let's go, man. The war is done. They peaced out. That's amazing. Give us this full annexation. Okay, we can start coring this. Someone's unhappy. Oh, it's Muscovy again. Yeah, let's enable it again. And now we could start annexing our vassals. Let's send this guy a gift. Enjoy. Take the nobility interaction. And let's start annexing both Gazimuk and the Trebizond. Nice, it's time to seize the lands, kill a little bit of rebels. And now we can start a war with Lithuania because they basically have no alliances, only Gotland. And what is Gotland gonna do? We can just take lots of provinces from them, maybe release even more vassals, such as Chernigov, Kiev and so on. They have a bunch of these vassals over here. Go, boys! Hungary officially owns Poland. Now that's tables turned. I don't think I've ever seen Hungary get so powerful and actually have a personal union of their own apart from Croatia of course. Beautiful. We have integrated our two vassals. Let me unlock another quality idea. Hey, I don't think we need to continue. I'm gonna take their most important trade center in Kiev. Just a few provinces right here. 700 ducats and war reps. Thank you so much. Nice to have business with you, Lithuania. And honestly, I don't think I will be releasing anything in this war. I do have some admin points and I'm behind in Diplo, so I can afford to core this myself. Most importantly, we are getting, of course, lots of money from this war. That was the biggest deal for me. So let's start coring it. 
time to select a new rival. Yeah, we can rival Lithuania now. I guess we're kinda not friends anymore. I really just took what belonged to me, but I guess they're not happy about it. I don't think this will work out with Syria. Unfortunately, it's too hard to get these relations up. So I'm just gonna revoke the guarantee now. And perhaps Iraq can get a claim on them for me. I really want to declare on the Mamluks, but I still need to dissolve this the goddamn coalition. For one of the missions, I need this province right here. It sucks that they took it in the first place. It's time to take one loan and upgrade this center of trade. Yeah, first make this a state upgrade. And we can complete the mission, monopolize the Black Sea, the level 3 trader 50% off. 10% domestic trade power until the end of the game and one year worth of trade income. It's not gonna be much but it's a little bit of something. 140 ducats that's fine we can actually take a naval doctrine with this. I'm gonna take clerical ministers now for clergy. So okay this is almost done I just need 60 loyalty for them. Equilibrium is not looking that good but maybe we can complete an agenda for clergy. Yeah we can. So let's get this missionary strength guy. We can convert this province now. Time to reduce the inflation a little bit as well. I'm reducing autonomy once more. Still waiting for that coalition to dissolve so we can in the meantime kill the rebels and boost up our economy once more. I'll definitely take this advisor. Sounds great. Come here boy. Third quality idea and this unlocks 30% improved relations. A huge bonus. So now the aggressive expansion goes down much much faster. And to be honest I would like another improved relations guy. We can get this level 2 one. 3.9 per year. Also at this point we are running 3 level 2 advisors and we are still making money. And these guys are not very cheap. Um, Now the thing is do I wanna disinherit this guy? It's gonna be tough. We might be for a regency for a while. Uh, but he's so bad. Man, I have to go with this. Ottomans is considering attacking Hungary. Okay, that's interesting. Tier 4 government reform will be going for yearly patriarch authority. And speaking of it, here's 5. Yeah, so Ottomans have declared on Hungary. I have to help my boy, right? 80k units though. Yeah, I won't be really able to take anything from them. So the best I could do, I guess, is drain them drain their money take all their cash maybe war apps uh, yeah i will be helping hungary out otherwise i'm just stuck in this coalition for a while anyways and there's not much to do so let me take a few loans let's go with the grand company i want to check the ledger how are we compared to the ottomans actually we're a little bit stronger so i guess that's good news let's join New general needed. Oh, he's not very good. And our ships are getting destroyed. That does not look very good. Barrage this crap, boys. And I think this won't be enough mercs. Let me get these Knights of Rhodes. Let's just go all in versus them. Don't you worry, guys. I'm here. Screw it. Let's go straight for Constantinople. How many ships? 59 ships this guy has. Holy crap, and 94k units. Well, we have to be quick about this. Come on, let's assault it, barrage it. Um, about assaulting? Nah, let's not assault it. I don't know where most of his army is. Minus 20% aggressive expansion impact, oh god. Yeah, now I'm certain we can assault. Super quick that was. Barrage this as well. Assault guys, go, go, go. Okay, we got it. Let's get out of here, I see you boy. Okay, one army is dead and this army will die as well. That's awesome. The Constantinople stack has to die. Come here, lads. Where are you going? Hey, another awesome air. How amazing. The reverse is ver working pretty good. I think we will be able to piece them out very shortly. Meanwhile, they're over here in Anatolia doing god knows what. Assault boys. They're back, they're on Constantinople. Go boys, go, go, go. And help me out please, Iraq and Muscovy. Thank you so much. We nearly have it. One more war score. So maybe just a couple occupations. And we can have it. We got it boys, we got it. 2200 ducats, war reparations, and let's get the hell out of here. I don't care what a hungry thinks of me now. Yeah, trust lost, but we can of course always restore it with favors. Trade favors for trust. Let's go max out. 
I don't want to keep these mercenaries at all. So let's just disband them. Ottomans will be suffering now. Most importantly. And we, we can pay off all of our loans. Complete this mission over here. Because we have 60 clergy loyalty now. Get his cheaper level 3 advisor. See some lands. Things are looking awesome over here. Mushasha left the coalition. Mamluks left the coalition. Yes. Oh, Mamluks, you are in trouble. Also, I think we can declare on the Mamluks while they're busy with Ethiopia. They only have Yemen, Syria, and Transoxiana to help them out. Conquest of Erzurum. Let's go, boys. Oh, Transoxiana is over here. That's good. Yeah, I'll take this province for 70 relations. That's fine with me. Pour this up. Oh god, the war reps are so huge. Almost 9 ducats monthly. I'm loving the fact that Ottomans declared on Hungary. This was a godsend opportunity. These rebels have some progress on the fort, so we can steal the progress. Oh, 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 Mamluks are back. Okay. If we can get this fort quickly and their capital, maybe we can peace out Transoxiana. So let's not worry about Mamluks too much. And actually, let's get some more buildings. Yeah, why not? Some courthouses, some marketplaces. Because we ballin', boys, we rich. Barrage, assault, and we're done here. Let's go. Yep, let's go. Give me your cash. Actually, not too far away from the warps, so might as well take that real quick. Here we go, that's much better. Thank you. I absolutely love getting 10 monthly decades from war reps. I will start investing into barracks now. These wars are literally just investment into Georgian bright future. How about you become my vassal now, Syria? We lost the icon, so it's time to take one again. How's colonialism going? It's not spreading at all, so I think I will take the development one this time. Because I will need to dev my provinces to get a embracement. Oh hey buddy, what you doing here? And where are your friends? Because I saw them somewhere here. They're actually gone. They went into Anatolia and they're gone. And I need some manpower. Could Austria send me some? Yes, almost 3000. That's awesome. Oh man, that hurts. That hurts. But I'm not gonna seed a core. So let's just enable support loyalists again. Okay, Yemen is done. So let's get back one of the diplomats. Sweet white piece. Congratulations, Mamluks. You messed up. You played yourself, buddy. Now, what I will need from them, of course, is this province of Erzurum. Please give back all the cores to Syria. Let's take Gaza and a few provinces around here and some cash. I think this is decent enough. Let's go. Oh, we're looking beautiful now with two amazing vassals over here. Slay the white sheep. Let's go. Rattle of Civilization is available, but before this, I actually want to integrate Iraq. So I will begin this annexation. Now we, we can upgrade this center of trade in our capital. Let's go for that. Let's start coring our new provinces. Only four years left until the truce with Ottomans runs out. I will be definitely attacking them on that time. Most definitely. And I will be inviting Austria for sure. So now we have the time to get ready. Get our manpower up most importantly. And to speed us up we can build a few more barracks. Yeah, that's how many perma claims we now have on the Ottomans. And still some cores left for Syria. Let's seize a bit more uh, lands. Build this workshop, why not? Screw it, man. Heirs of Seljuks. And let's subjugate Fars. This will be crazy aggressive expansion, I'm pretty sure. But honestly, it's very funny to do. And they have lots of development. So it's gonna be a very strong vassal. Let's go for it. We have like three years until the truce ends with Ottomans. So I think that's plenty of time. Oh, of course, the rebels spawn just when I arrive. Let me get some mercs to deal with them. Don't want to lose that much manpower. I could get 4% more loyalty. That would be great. We could take this free enterprise. Okay, let's kill this guy now. Very quick fort. Amazing. You dead, bro. Oh, god damn it. This sucks. Regency. But at least we will still be able to declare wars. It's just that this guy's stats are awful. And our air is garbage as well. Super unlucky, I gotta say. 
Oh no, our advisors are dying. I managed to peace out Sistan and Afghanistan. Soon Transoxiana is down and we'll be just on time for the war with Ottomans. And we have 60 burgers loyalty. So now I'm gonna develop this province next to my capital. It costs only 20 points to develop this. So let's go invest some admin. Mill points expand. Boom, colonialism is here. And it's gonna spread very quickly into our capital. Now let's quickly barrage this. I wanna end this as fast as I can. Okay, cool, they're out. That's great. Otherwise our cost? Sure, let's go. Truce is over with the Ottomans. Oh god, I'm not ready yet, my friend. Okay, so welcome to our new vassal, I guess. But the aggressive expansion is a bit crazy. Minus 156 with Ottomans. And so on. For example, with Mamluks, almost 200. So, okay, before piecing them out, let's actually get next to the Ottomans. Oh, our spies just told us that Ottomans are preparing to attack the Mamluks. That's actually perfect. We can let them attack. I need a new icon, discipline for sure. Give me more mercs, I need a grand company. Yeah, so we have colonialism available here. All we need is money to embrace it. I will take a few loans. Let's embrace it. Level 9 military. And this allows new infantry. I find it weird that they're not attacking Mamluks even though there was this pop-up. Anyway, screw it, man. This guy is unseaging. I'm not gonna wait any longer. So let's make that guy our vassal. Plus 100 prestige. I mean, we already had crazy prestige. Oh yeah, the aggressive expansion is insane. It will take years and years to annex this guy, but I'm fine with that. You're going down, buddy. You are going down. So let me start improving relations with Pars. I no longer need to pay Muscovy. Come on, barrage this. Bruh, the coalition can screw itself. I don't care about it. Yeah, Hungary, you can also come in to help me out, buddy. And I'm gonna solve this bullcrap. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, one of these mercs can actually go hunt down the rebels. And the rest of my army can deal here in the Balkans. So I'm thinking let's test them out. Yeah, he is getting wrecked. Got you, buddy. I got you, man. Stop right there. It's really hard to win without naval superiority. He unseaged Constantinople, which really, really sucks. It's Age of Reformation now. Yes, please give me additional stability. Yeah, this garbage is now ruling our nation. That sucks. We finally have a respectable heir, though. Oh, would you look at that. Fars likes us now. We have everything occupied, man. It's over. Austria went for the white piece, which is good. If I want to take money, I can take more for myself. White piece with sus and everyone is out of the war. Okay, now you listen to me, Ottomans. You listen to me. Okay, so for the starters, I'm thinking something like this. Just a straight line towards the Balkans. I'm taking two Byzantium cores and one Bulgarian core. So from them I can release my new vassals. Yeah, these are not the provinces that I actually need for the missions. But I think it's more important to completely demolish Ottomans next war and take like basically all of the Balkans. So let's take this peace deal. Now let's go over to our vassals view. Release Bulgaria. Release Byzantium. We are slightly above our limit but we are finishing to annex Iraq. So we Gucci. Now what about our loans? I mean, we're in still in a very good position. Look, we basically paid off all of, of our loans. It's only 1% ones and 1-4% loan. We can also summon the diet and seize lands, reduce the war exhaustion a bit and start coring our new provinces. Everyone's happy. We have insane amount of vassals now. And we're basically dominating. It's 1519. We have 1224 development and we are the first greatest power the ottomans are down to the fourth place painful defeat and on that note this is where i will end the second episode if you enjoyed it click the like button i really appreciate your support and depending on how this video will perform i might do the third part as well so stay in touch and i'll see you soon goodbye